Like there's this sort of fiction that the NFL is is participating in and the public is participating in that that the sport can be cleaned up, quote unquote. It can't be cleaned up. The problem's not people playing the game in a dirty way. The problem is the game. Special event. I love watching it. Right? But that's remember, that's the perspective of the spectator. We're talking about the part it ends with the but participants. The participants almost to a man, especially the guys who play pro football, will tell you no matter what they've suffered, no matter what they've they gone love through, it. Oh, yeah. oh, they still would do it again. They still How do you explain that? I haven't found one guy who said to me, Nah, I should have been an accountant. Yeah. No um, one guy. I know, but I wonder so I know that Turley says that, right? Hmm? Play it all over again. Yeah. But he's talking about I think that there's, again, there's two things there. There is football specific, there's these football specific feelings, and then there's, there's the sports feelings. There's nothing about football that makes it, that makes it more meaningful than any other kind of team sports. It's just, team sports are, are emotionally really powerful things. And in, in Europe, they have even, I would, you know, European attachment to soccer is, as far as I can tell, stronger than our attachment to yeah. football, right? And yeah. that, you know, the hooliganism it, just, yeah, it just shows you that sports are powerful. We can switch allegiances to another sport, we'll get over it. It'll come down to sort of changing social um, uh, notions of social acceptability, yeah. And as driven by a bunch of drivers, one of them, one of them will be, like I said, I think the lawsuit thing is going to be uh, Israel. Do you see any Philip Morris advertising Hank, on your way over? They don't advertise anymore, right? It's because of a bunch of lawyers. Right? That's, it was been 20 years ago. To, the idea that we know cigarette advertising from Philip Morris in this country was unbelievable. They were the biggest advertiser in the country. They're gone. Uh, Good. Um, I think I'm done. Is there anything else that, uh, that you can think of that I haven't uh, um, touched on this conversation? Anything's important? No, I, mean, I would just say that, you know, the, and the great paradox of all this is that when football dies, no one will be more upset than me. I mean, I acknowledge I am a, like I think we all are, I am a complete hypocrite on this. I, I can't, I cannot um, reconcile my love for watching this game. And it is, you know, I taped the, I was away this week on the road. I taped the San Diego New England game on Saturday. Then I email every friend of mine saying, I'm taping a game, do not sit, I'm going to watch it Monday night when I get home. <laughs> so I had my entire universe of friends, like on lockdown, I avoided all internet, television, and newspaper until I got home on Monday night and watched the game, right? I mean, I'm not crazy. I had, I've had You're a DVDs. I am a picture. Well, I'm a Buffalo Bills fan, but it's too painful. So yeah. I, I've had been in Europe and had people... FedEx me DVDs of games so I can watch them. I mean, I'm crazy, right? But I, it's untenable and I, it's morally indefensible for me to have a love for this game. I mean, so I think, it, you know, I'm typical, I guess. Are you ready for some real football?